This video will demonstrate how to create a custom theme. The following are good materials to read. Jasper Report Server Administrator Guide, Section 6.4 and 6.5.2. The themes are located in the Themes folder of an organization. There's also a Themes folder in the Root Level folder for Super User. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be creating a custom theme for the organization. There are generally two approaches to creating custom theme. The first approach involves downloading the whole theme, making changes directly to the CSS files, and then re-upload those changes into a new theme. So essentially, if you click on the default, download the theme, it will download the theme as a zip file. Then you can decompress the zip file and make changes to, let's say, themes.css. And then recompress it again. And then go to themes, upload the theme, and call it a new name, and then upload the zip file. As a warning, do not upload the theme back into the default theme. We would like to preserve the default theme because once there is a problem with the default theme, it cannot be recovered so easily. The second approach is the recommended approach, which is actually the quickest way. It involves copying the individual CSS rules from the default theme files and modifying them into a file called the overrides underscore customs or CSS file. This will be the only file needed for the custom theme. The overrides underscore customs or CSS is always the last CSS file to be loaded. Its rules will override the same rules in other files. As a quick demonstration, I will now create a custom theme to make use of the overrides underscore customs or CSS file. In the themes folder, I'll create a new themes folder. And in the new themes folder, I'll create an images folder. I will then upload my custom image into the images folder. I will then make modifications to the overrides underscore custom.css to include my changes. So I will be making changes to the background color for the banner to green and I will also change the logo. And hence, that is why I need to upload the Jasper logo.png to the images folder. Coming back to the new themes folder, I will now upload the CSS file. I will then make the new themes the active theme, which is highlighted in bold. This will become the new theme for the organization, and it will impact all users who log on to the organization. So I'll now log out and log in as a user of the organization. Now you can see that the new theme has taken place with a green banner 
in the new logo. As mentioned, the second approach is the most recommended approach as it involves making all the changes into one single file without the need to make modifications to other CSS files. This, the first approach is only when you need to modify the user interface extensively and that it's not feasible to include all the changes in the one single file. In either approach, it is highly recommended not to modify the default theme. The default theme should remain untouched as modifying any of these files incorrectly would be very difficult to recover from. The last part of this video is a quick walkthrough of the Firefox Inspector tool that can assist theme developers customize the themes. It allows theme developers to make instant changes to the page as they navigate and to see the effect of the change. To enable the Inspector page, you open the menu, go to Web Developer and click on Inspector, which would open the panes at the bottom. Then you go to the relevant sections, for example the banner, on the left pane. And on the right pane you can see um, in the banner section you can make changes to the background color. So I make changes to the color and uh, make it green. And there's information on this section where it shows the line number 1644 in what specific CSS file. So as I make the change to green, I can see that the banner already reflected green. I can also make changes to the logo by navigating to the logo section. On the left pane, the logo, I can make changes to the logo itself. Go back there. I can make changes to the logo.png um, by changing that to a custom logo, for example, jasperlogo.png. The custom logo needs to be uploaded to the images folder for that to work. So theme developers can make changes on the fly and then copy these sections into the overrides on the small custom.css file in which they upload to the themes folder in JasperSoft. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you for watching.